Hello, my name is uh, Derek Morrison. I'm a sales manager with Toshiba Canada. I'd like to talk to you about our latest Microsoft 365 uh, Exchange app. This allows users to scan paper documents via scanned email for those emails to arrive with your authentic Microsoft email address and not the um, generic uh, email address of the photocopier. Uh, I'm gonna share a screen and we'll start right away. What we're looking at now is the web browser of the Toshiba copier that I'm using to demonstrate this new app. And in particular, we're looking at how we set up the email tab and the from address. All copiers need to do this. And generally we set up some sort of, some sort of generic email address from the copier. Hello, the copy right behind me here. If I just wanna make a simple scan to email, click on my address book, click on my name and go OK and start. The copier is going to scan that paper document to my uh, email address. And which is just done. So as you can see, this is my email inbox in, ex in Exchange and um, that uh, email has arrived. We can see that the uh, from address is not uh, my address. My address is uh, derek.morson at toshibatech.ca. So often customers want their scanned emails from the copier to arrive as if they sent it from their own exchange accounts um, and recorded in their sent items folder. So Toshiba has an app for that called Exchange Online. Uh, which we'll look at now. So here we are back at the home screen of the copier. If I just go over um, to one slide here and click on Exchange Online, uh, because uh, I have to authenticate this myself, that's at the photocopier with the uh, user authentication, because uh, it is accessing my personal um, uh, email accounts. You have to, in this case, enter in a, a, a PIN code or it could be a card swipe if that was enabled. This brings us to the app. I want you to notice first off that you can change which account you might be in here, but uh, we're gonna say no. Um, and also I have a document in the feeder right here. I'm going to scan it in right now. Um, I'm gonna call it, uh, I'll call it demo one. And uh, it's a black and white document and um, OCR, I'm going to OCR, I'm going to um, uh, make it a searchable PDF. I could make it a Word file, Excel file, PowerPoint file or something else. We have lots of choices there um, and go. So um, preview I want to have turned on and go start. So it's scanning the document in now. Go job finish. Which it's done. Then we gotta find my the email address you want to send it to. I'm gonna go to my email. And I'm going to send it to my uh, Gmail account as well. And OK. And uh, so there's where it's going to from my authentic account to my Gmail account as well. And uh, demo one is called Go. And the copier started to send the email uh, out to its recipients.
So here we are back in my Outlook inbox, and we can see that a scan from the copier has arrived. Uh, and we can see that the from address is now from myself. And you can see right here is from my email address. So the scan is coming from myself to myself. Also, there's one there for the uh, one I sent to Gmail. And here we are looking at my Gmail account. And we can see that the email uh, came from my email address and sent to my email address. Uh, as you can see, this is my contact information. Uh, any questions, I'd be happy to help. The Toshiba Exchange Online app is not a free app. You have to pay for it. Uh, someone has to install it, but it's not a very expensive app. Um, the app is often required, required by those business organizations that require a higher level of email security. Um, they want to know who is sending and receiving their emails at all times. Uh, email is the most common form of uh, hack attack into your organization. So a higher level of security is required. Uh, also, I want to mention that a recent uh, improvement to the app um, eliminates the file megabyte size that we can scan. So you can scan as many pages as you want into the uh, Exchange Online app. So I hope you found this video interesting, and we'll see you in the next one. Uh, thank you. Bye.